Welcome back to the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. This is actually my very first mental health podcast. The story I'm going to share with you today will allow you to listen as a podcast. But if podcasts aren't your thing, then you're in luck because I'm going to supplement my story with the beautiful video clips I recorded yesterday while hiking at Zapata Falls. So I'm currently staying at a campground in Alamosa, Colorado while my house is being built. Because of my limited access to Wi-Fi, I've been forced into listening to podcasts for entertainment. What I quickly learned is that I actually love listening to podcasts. Because audio is the focus, I don't have to watch anything. I can simply listen to them while doing other things like waking up or doing chores around the house. Some of you already know I love talking about mental health specifically mental health solutions. My intent isn't to sit here and whine about how much life sucks. Instead, I hope you can relate to some of my struggles and are willing to try some of the solutions I offer up towards the end of this podcast. Anyway, let me give you a quick itinerary so you know what to expect. Number one, my recent struggles. Number two, the meaning of life. Number three, my experience on the trail yesterday, and number four, some bonus ideas in regards to my current favorite supplements. First, let's talk about my recent struggles. I'm currently building a house in Blanca, Colorado. A few weeks ago, I started having issues with my builder. I'm getting ready to deal with this head on, and it's really been stressing me out. With all that going on in the back of my mind, for some reason, this week has been extraordinarily rough. Sunday was actually the 16th anniversary of my open heart surgery. This marks the anniversary of a time in my life when I had a mini stroke, fell into a coma, and almost died. Since that time, my life has been full of struggles. I often wonder why God or the universe or whoever decided to save my life, only to have me deal with all these struggles. It almost seems like a cruel joke. Save my life only to serve me up a plate of crap day after day. Also on Sunday, we had 45 mile an hour winds. This forced me to close up the porch on my camper. Because of that, I had to find a storage unit to free up space in my camper. This proved to be another challenge as most of the storage facilities in the area are already at capacity. Then, on Monday, after dealing with all the nonsense of renting a storage unit, we had a crazy hailstorm come through the campground. While it confirmed that my choice to close up the porch was the right move, it was also very stressful. Hail and 60 mile an hour winds in my camper is something I've never had to deal with. I actually thought a tornado was coming through. That brings us to Tuesday, which was a day where almost everything went wrong all day long. It was one of those days where each singular event isn't that big a deal. But when the events are non-stop, back to back, all day long, it makes you wonder, what did I do to deserve this? It was so bad that, as I was falling asleep that night, I actually thought to myself, it would be amazing if I just died in my sleep so that I don't have to deal with this bullshit life anymore. I mean, at what point does life become not worth living anymore? There's a reason that suicide rates are out of control. This brings me to my next topic, which is the meaning of life. Isn't it interesting that people have been searching for the meaning of life forever, and nobody has been able to come up with a definitive answer? We walk into this life not knowing the origin of the human race. The TV show Ancient Aliens actually proposes that we are nothing more than an experiment. On the other hand, we leave this world not knowing where we're going once we die. Most of us assume our soul goes somewhere, but nobody can possibly know with certainty. So if we don't know where we came from and don't know where we're going, why do we stress about everything in between? Influential people and companies would like us to believe that every aspect of our life is super important. There's a great quote from the Rick and Morty TV show which states, when you know nothing matters, the universe is yours. One episode of Ancient Aliens talks about why the government covered up the Roswell UFO incident in 1947. 
They said the truth would actually ruin the fabric of our society. What do you suppose the fabric of our society even is? I would argue that the fabric of our society is the concept that life actually matters. I'm not convinced that life has any meaning at all. What I'm starting to learn is that conspiracy theories seem completely ridiculous, and then they don't, as the truth begins to slowly leak out. I'm currently extremely interested in the idea that we might be an aquarium for the aliens. Maybe the human race is simply an experiment for the aliens. Or maybe we're just here for their entertainment. I've even heard a theory that maybe the aliens created us to be their slaves, to mine minerals for them on planet Earth, specifically gold. If you think about it, every civilization has been extremely infatuated with gold. Why is this? And why is gold so valuable? Did the aliens make it so? If you think I'm crazy, you're definitely welcome to your own opinion. But here's the thing. Isn't it interesting that you cannot prove me wrong? Anyway, back to our topic of the meaning of life. Many days I don't enjoy life at all. The repetitive nature just wears me down. I think this is why I haven't been able to maintain a traditional job. It's repetitive nature and the inevitable disrespect from my boss. I'd rather be dead than to deal with that nonsense for 40 hours each week. I work really hard all day to coordinate what I perceive as an amazing day. My biggest struggle recently has been waking up in the morning. My knee-jerk reaction is disbelief that I have to deal with this nonsense all over again. Eat breakfast, brush my teeth, take a shower, maintain a positive attitude, eat healthy, get something done in an effort to feel a sense of accomplishment. What even is the point of it all? Number three, my experience on the trail yesterday. I had been planning this hiking trip for a few weeks. Since my recent hike to Lake Como was unsuccessful, I was on a mission to complete this trail in its entirety. But when I woke up yesterday, I was feeling tired and unmotivated. I actually didn't feel like hiking at all. But since the previous day was so rough, I knew I needed to get out into nature to clear my mind. I think most people realize the benefits of both exercise and being in nature, but I've never experienced such dramatic positive results as I did yesterday. Specifically, three things happened which I'd like to tell you about. Number one, I only spent about five or 10 minutes at the waterfall and it completely energized me. I know there's science on the benefits of being around water and I think there's even more science on how water in motion or running water is actually super healthy. Number two, I had barely even hiked one mile when ideas started arising in my mind. In a matter of just minutes, about six or seven ideas popped up. For me, this typically signals that I'm excited about something, moving forward in life and not dwelling on past events. And number three, at the very beginning of the trail, I had a rather important synchronicity in regards to the problems I'm having with my builder. This put my mind at ease almost instantly. If you're not familiar with synchronicities, a synchronicity is a meaningful coincidence where an external event mirrors an internal one. I found a great article about it on the Psychology Today website. I'll put a link in the description of this video if you're interested in reading it. Number four, some bonus ideas. I'd like to mention three of my favorite supplements, which you may find to be helpful as well. The first one is Wobenzyme. It's a proteolytic enzyme, which helps with digestion, pain, and swelling. I recently posted a short video about it. I'll put a link in the description for you. Number two, it's a natural supplement, which I've been taking for about a year. I take 5.6 grams three times per day. It helps me through the day by giving me energy, mental clarity, it improves my mood, it has cured my restless legs, and it even motivates me to tackle large projects. Once again, I'll put a link to the website where you can read more about it. And the third one is Rapid Rehydrate, which are electrolyte capsules which I buy on Amazon. I take them a few times per day to boost my immune system, improve my mental clarity, and they also eliminate the lightheadedness I sometimes get when hiking. 
These also seem to help with my restless legs. I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Anyway, thanks for listening to my very first podcast. Also, I did want to say something about this trail at Zapata Falls. The trailhead is right next to Zapata Falls Campground, which has 23 campsites. Not only that, but the entrance to Great Sand Dunes National Park is just three miles away. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and we will see you next time.